Hello everybody, it's Andre J. McClendon. Welcome to the show. This is the weekly news wrap up. And before I begin, I just want to go over um, my website is being updated. We go live September 1st, so please check out all the updates. And then I'll be going resuming back to making uh, three to four videos a week. So let's jump into the weekly news wrap up. So the first thing I want to jump into is the Dow in the last few days and how volatile it has been. And the movements have been really nice, but this shakiness has been stopping out a lot of traders. So please beware. The, the market makers, these central banks, are looking to take your money. So look at in, look at uh, pretty good entries and exits. Uh, for the US 30, they, they're talking about over a couple hundred pips. So some really fantastic gains. Just be careful. But my main thing I want to get into in the markets is crypto. Because crypto has been getting massacred, and especially in the last two months, crypto has just been on a downstream. This is Litecoin. Litecoin has been getting hurt. I remember it was back in the 140s, and now it just, I don't know if it's coming back, but we'll see. Litecoin is, it has a lot of volatility. It might come back in a few days. Well, our next one is XRP. Here's XRP in the monthly. Definitely is going to be breaking this monthly support. I think going to be heading down to a lot, lot cheaper. But we shall see. It is volatile. It can come back pretty easily with a couple big buyers. I mean, <clears throat> once it broke down this area here, I was looking short, short, and short. And I think it's going to be heading down a lot lower. But we shall see. And Bitcoin. Now here's Bitcoin on the monthly. And it's pretty interesting, like, uh, start looking at uh, Bitcoin on the monthly. And if it doesn't hold this area, I honestly think it's going to be heading back to that 4000 level and then breaking the support level to head down lower. Do a massive pullback, but not passing this uh, zone up here. But we shall see in the next few months where Bitcoin goes. Maybe it goes up to 20000 maybe heads down lower. I don't know. It's very volatile. I try not to trade these as much, but when I do, I do it very, very short term. So let's jump into some Fed stuff. So the Fed was talking about, you know, them decreasing their balance sheets. But here's a comparison off of micro ventures for the Fed balance uh, sheet versus gold price. The price of gold has been increasing the last couple of days. I'm so happy. Uh, it's been it's been years, man. I've been waiting for this, but. We shall see where gold goes and maybe gets hit back down to a lower level, but we shall see. This is the recession area, the last uh, crash, and just to see what's been happening. They were very, very close in value uh, for these lines, and now they are very spaced out and coming back together now. We shall see. Our next one is the gold-silver ratio. I, I go over this quite often. It's extremely important to see which one is more, uh, I would say, the best thing to buy, the Gold and uh, silver may go up in value, but gold might do a, a, a 3x, but silver might do a 10x. So, in my opinion, it's best best to have both, but we shall see which one exceeds that. Right now, the gold-silver ratio is about is at 83.92. That's amazing time. I'm scooping up even more silver. So, I hope you guys are enjoying that. Uh, on my website, AndreJMcClendon.com. Uh, for the updates that should that uh, should be available, you guys be able to buy gold and silver off the website. So please check that out. So let's check out next week's trading. Now remember Monday we got two bank holidays for the CAD and USD. It is first Friday this week, so watch out. First Friday is going to set these markets up real real nasty for the CAD and the dollar. So watch out. We got non-farm average hourly earnings, unemployment rates, and we got the Fed Chair Powell speaks. Uh, if you guys look into uh, hear what the uh, chair actually talks about, um, this is Google uh, Fed Chair Powell speaks, and you, there's a link off of the YouTube. You can watch it directly. So let's jump into that news. That news. Let's go. So we're on Zero Hedge. Let's see what Zero Hedge has to offer. Here's some articles that I'm reading right now. Uh, Americans spent nearly 150 billion dollars on illegal drugs last year. That's crazy, like absolutely craziness. And you know, it's not my thing. I know other people will enjoy it, but whew, it is something to see how people spend their uh, extra cash or cash that they need, just to see how. It's just trends. Something I like to read up on. But some other thing is 
the percentage of workers who are union members. Now, I had a conversation with an individual, but that was a, a union member, and this kind of poked out, and I was like, something interesting to read. So here's another article to read up on. And is the Fed trying to sabotage uh, Trump's reelection? Well, to, in my opinion, I think the Fed is, no matter what they do, they're hurting the American people. So it doesn't matter if it's President Trump or anyone else who's coming into the uh, office. The, the Fed's going to ruin their economy anyways. That's what their, in my opinion, that's what their goal is. To take, from more, to take more from the American people and leave us with less. And this is interesting. Uh, more people uh, flee New York uh, each day than any other city in the U.S. Uh, we skip down to this part here. New York leads all U.S. metro areas as the uh, largest net loser and estimated 270 people are moving away every single day. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, I would not want to live in New York with those taxes, nor California. I like Vegas. Vegas is beautiful. I love not paying state taxes. But, you know, it's a good article to read. You know, taxes are a big indicator of where people live, kind of like Puerto Rico. But uh, that's the news, this weekly news wrap-up, guys. I just want to fill you in about, you know, my website going live on September 1st. Uh, go there if you'd like. There's a lot of uh, market information about stocks and Forex. So please check that out. But other than that, guys, have an amazing week. Uh, watch out for those markets next week. It's going to be very volatile, especially with the Fed chair and the uh, first Friday coming out. So have a nice weekend. I'll see you.